But here's the number two is a very interesting one. What are the lies that you believe to keep you from getting there? Now, I, I realized when I did this exercise a couple months ago, I realized, like, okay, Lord, what are some of the lies that I believe that keep me from advancing with our nonprofit toward the purposes that you have for us as a ministry? And the first one that came to my mind was this encounter that I had with my dad about him wanting to be an astronaut. Now, being an astronaut sounds like, well, that's a crazy idea, but my dad was actually an Air Force pilot back in the 50s and 60s. <clears throat> I traveled around the U.S. at different Air Force bases. God was getting me ready to be a missionary because I don't like to move. Can you believe that? I hate moving, and I've only moved since I've been married 13 times. So God was getting me ready for all this. So my dad, like many Air Force pilots, uh, applied to be an astronaut. And <clears throat> one, one day I, was, I went to see the movie, The Right Stuff. How many, how many of you have seen the movie, The Right Stuff? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So if you haven't seen the movie, it's about the first group of astronauts, the Mer Mercury astronauts, are going to go up in space and you know, they're going to orbit the Earth. And um, a guy, the, the whole movie is about a guy named um, Chuck Yeager, who's a test pilot. He's, he's kind of like the unsung hero. He's out testing uh, airplanes and breaking the sound barrier, and then these astronauts are kind of getting all the glory because they go up in space for the first time. So everybody, Navy, Navy pilots and Air Force pilots at the time, they all wanted to be astronauts because that was the next unknown and the next frontier, you might say. So I went to see the movie, and I go, come home, and I said to my dad, hey, I saw this right stuff, and it was pretty cool, and told him about Chuck Yeager, and you know, I'd heard of of the you know, test pilots, my dad knew test pilots. And uh, I said, hey, uh, Chuck Yeager, yeah, he was, kinda, he was in this, uh, this movie, and it was really cool, and blah, blah, blah. And my dad goes to me, well, Chuck Yeager kept me out of the astronaut program. I go, oh, I didn't know that. And so that was all he said. But how I interpreted it was like, well, I guess we're not supposed to be very successful then. So there's, a, there's the lie. Well, in Jesus, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There's all these promises in Scripture that says, nope, that's not true. I have plans for you. I can do mighty things through you. So I realized that if we're to fulfill God's purposes for us at this time with our nonprofit, that I need to just be free of anything that would hinder what God's calling us to do as a, as a team with our board. And so what are the lies you believe to keep you from getting there? So I just want to stop for a minute. And I just want to, I just want to open up for, the, for a few, we have a, a, the time. What are the lies that you believed? I'm, not, I'm too old. I'm not, uh, I'm not good enough. You know, the blood of Jesus takes care of that. Uh, God used Abraham and Sarah when they were very old. I mean, age, age isn't a factor for the Lord. Sex isn't a factor with the Lord. So anyway, what are the what are the lies that have kept you from doing what God's calling you to do? So I just want to take a, just a thirty seconds, and I'm going to say, "Lord, break lies right now, in Jesus' name." So let's go ahead and close our eyes, bow our heads, and if there's a lie, uh, for the courtesy of privacy, everybody close your eyes, please. If there's a lie that you believe that you're renouncing right now, in Jesus' name, just raise your hand. I just want to agree with you. Amen. <clears throat> Seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least twenty people are raising their hands. In Jesus' name, I break these lies that my friends and brothers and sisters in Jesus have believed. Break them now, Lord. And let's just all agree. In Jesus' name, let's in, one more time. In Jesus' name, we renounce these lies. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat>